there is heat just below the surface of the Earth. The deeper you go, the more heat there is. Heat is energy. There is always heat there. There is heat everywhere. There's geothermal energy everywhere. The question is, can we access that heat, bring it to the surface, use it in some constructive manner, be it heating an aquatic center, be it heating buildings, be it turning that heat into electricity. Can we do that in a cost-effective manner? And it's that technology to turn that natural heat into something useful is, is what geothermal technology is all about. Geothermal technology is extracting the natural heat from the earth and, and using it for some economically meaningful purpose. It's renewable, it's sustainable, it's zero emissions if done properly, it's everywhere, it's ubiquitous, it's baseload, I guess, when you're, when you're comparing it against uh, solar energy, wind energy, which are intermittent, they're, they're fantastic energy sources, I have nothing against them, but if you want something to run every day reliably, 24 seven, uh, geothermal is always there. If we look across the country to Perth, roughly 15 aquatic centres heated with geothermal energy. Now we have our very own aquatic centre heated with geothermal in Shirelgan. The Gippsland Regional Aquatic Centre is the first public Victorian facility of its kind to feature a deep bore geothermal heating system. This system provides sustainable heating to the swimming pools and air in the centre massively reducing our carbon footprint and saving hundreds of thousands of dollars in energy costs every year. The Trobe City insured a range of local contractors were involved in the geothermal installation, which creates new jobs, skills and opportunities to harness this natural resource and diversify the Gippsland energy industry. We are now investigating other options for the use of geothermal heating potential glasshouse food production and residential opportunities. I see uh, geothermal technology as such as, as an exceptionally sustainable product. With reference to the project in Tarelgan for the pool, it gives off heat um, through that heat exchanger to heat the pool and whatever other applications it could be used for. It's then drawn back down through pipe work and re-injected back into the ground approximately 500 metres away from the bore where it's extracted. And the primary reason is so that you're, you're having two separate temperatures, a higher temperature of extraction, lower temperature of re-injection, so we don't mix those two together. There's no loss of water, it's a closed loop, and so I see that as a sustainable, self-fulfilling you know, energy. Latrobe City would like to thank the Victorian Government and Latrobe Valley Authority for their funding support for the Aquatic Centre.